So we stopped here last time um, with this one. Modern art is on, is on display at the you know, museum, a building with an unusually design. With an unusual. unusual design. Thank you very much. By the beginning of the 1980s, 15 states had adopted already no fault insurance law laws. Had already adopted? Already adopted. We said we use the uh, past participle before, I'm um, sorry, we use the adverb before the past participle. Thank you very much. Heart attacks are fatally in 75% or? Fatal. After the verb be, we use adjectives. Uh, in spite of the of the tremendous amount of electronic gadgetry in air traffic air traffic control still depends heavy heavy on people heavily 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 and this is how it is written with the i not with the y okay only recently have golden's industrially designers and engineers been i don't know what no? industrial yes we need here an adjective not an adverb only one l um, a blooms, a baloo, I'm sorry, a baboon's arms appear, appear as lengthy as its legs. Uh, lengthy. Yes, the adjective is lengthy and the adverb is lengthy. A serious problem is how to communicate reliable with how to communicate. Reliably. Reliably. Reliably, and in a reliable way. Americans are destroying rapidly wetlands faster than an acre every two minutes. Are rapidly destroying. Rapidly yeah. destroying. Yeah. Rapidly destroying. Also the adverb before the gerund. The uh, central, before the gerund, it's because we use the adverb after the verb be, uh, if it's an adverb of frequency or, or many adverbs after the verb be. Okay. Uh, the central banking system of the United States consists of 12 banks district, 12? Uh, 12 bank? Bank districts. So it should be, it should be districts. districts. Okay, bank districts, not banks district. Okay. Um, telegraph service across the Atlantic was successful, established, was successful? Successfully. Successfully established, thank you very much. Okay, uh, next homework. Patty Bird, the top tournament winner in women's golf, comma, 83 golf tournaments. Hmm. Uh, C. Subject. And we have here an apostrophe, and an, an, I'm sorry, an, 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 a positive between two commas. You see these two commas? So, Patty Bird, need a verb? Yes, one. Patty Bird, one. That's it. Subject and verb. Simple structure. Number two, with about 15 times its weight in air, dogs, Gasoline allow the carburetor to run smoothly. Uh, only when mixed. Only when mixed with about uh, 15 times its weight in air. Does gasoline allow? Yes. I'm sorry. Yes. This is an inversion. Very good. Thank you very much, Shipsman. Thank you very much. Number three, uh, the Colorado River reaches their maximum height during April and May. There should be replaced with the it's. It's. Thank you very much. Plant proteins tend to have few amino acids than proteins from animal resources. Uh, C. The uh, few should be replaced with little. Fewer. Fewer than. Because proteins here is plural. So uh, it means we can use few. We cannot use little with countable nouns. So we don't use little with countable uh, is little with uncountable nouns. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, left has landed in March. Okay. Just a second. I'm going to fall. The Viking spacecraft has landed on Mars on Mars in July. Of 1976. Uh, we have to make it uh, past, uh, semi past, and have to move has. Very much, because here we have a fixed date. 
Admiral Byrd commanded, commanded airplane expeditions over both the Arctic or the Atlantic. The Atlantic. Or should be replaced with and? And both. And thank you very much. The advertising campaign will be based on the recent completed study. Uh, recently? Recently completed study. Thank you very much. Coronary conclusion results from a disease. I'm sorry, coronary occlusion uh, results from a disease in which fatty substances with a large amount of cholesterol is deposited in the arteries. Large amount of uh, cholesterol are deposited. Um, somebody else, does somebody else think something different? Okay, uh, when, when we say a large amount of cholesterol is uncountable, okay? And then amount is correct. And if it's uncountable, then it has to be dealt with as, as, as a singular. So is is correct also, okay? A coronary, uh, uh, coronary occlusion results from, this is also correct, a disease in which, do we say a disease in which fatty substances or a disease were fatty substances, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Where? Where? Yes. It's uh, indicated for location. Uh, it is indicated for locations, but it sometimes it is sometimes used for definitions. Okay, this is a definition. Okay, we use we use word for 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 uh, for definitions. Okay. Her money gave back as soon as she threatened to take the matter to court. The money uh, was uh, given back. Thank you very much. It's passive. It's definitely passive. The money was given back. Other sites of fossil discoveries uh, throughout, ranging from the fiery, I don't know what, Rex, to the milder, and then it's proven equally excite, equally a. Uh, actually, have. Equally proven. Have proven, have proven. After proven, we use, we, remember we said prove is a linking verb and after prove we use an adjective, not an adverb. So it has to be equally exciting, not excite, exciting, adjective. Okay, after prove we use an adjective, we don't use an adverb. Okay, any questions so far? Any questions so far? I would like to hear from the ladies also. I only hear from Bashman Mustafa. I would like other participants to uh, share with us the answers. Okay. Um, now we have the other homework. Okay. As the only major American river that flowed in the west direction, the Ohio was preferred route, was the preferred route, do you think? C should be westerly. In the in a western direction, not west. Western adjective from the, the west is an is a, is a noun. West is a noun, and we need here an adjective. Okay. Um, so it's west. The adjective from west is western. Uh, somebody is asking how we know that this verb is linking. If you get back to the um, class where we discussed linking verbs, you will find a list of linking verbs. And, um, okay, take a second. I don't remember which page, so I have to scroll up. These are the linking verbs. If you get back to the class, where we talked about linking verbs. These are the linking verbs, okay? And you can find proof here, okay? Clear? Okay, clear now? Okay, let me get back to uh, where we were. I'm sorry for interruption. Okay, um, during the annual E salmon migration, what do you think? What do you think? Annual. annual, yes, you need an adjective, not an adverb. Uh, 
Edelman stresses the amounting, the mounting evidence showing the greatly variations that hmm, great variations. Here variation is noun, and before the noun we use an adjective. We can we cannot use an adverb before the noun. Perhaps the most welcoming and friendly of the park's wild places is the live oak forest that's announced the district's alone visitors. Hmm. Alone should be replaced with loan. Only. Because alone is what? It's called a predicate adjective. Okay. Yes. Halley's Comet, viewing through a telescope. Hmm. Uh, viewed. Viewed. Yes, we don't. The, the comet is viewed. It's not viewing. It's passive. The state of deep asleep. Of deep. Hmm. Asleep. Asleep. Deep sleep. Deep sleep. Yes, as a noun. Yeah, as a noun, not as, not as an adjective. Not as an adjective, as a noun. Among the disputing sections of the, I don't know what are, the uh, Sinfonia. What do you think? Uh, disputed. Uh, no, disputing. Okay, what, what is the subject here? The subject, the subject here is the uh, opera. opera. No. Now the symphonia, because it's it's an inverted structure. Among, when we start with among, okay, this is a prepositional phrase. It's a necessary prepositional phrase. And when we start with a prepositional phrase, we invert the structures. So the subject is the symphonia, and the verb is are. So it should be is. Among the disputing sections of the, I don't know, opera, is the symphonia that, uh, blah, blah, blah. Remember inversion? Yeah. Most probably because of the likable rapport between anchors, the night new cast on the local ABC series has recently moved, blah, blah, blah. Hmm. Uh, I have that about uh, night. Mm. What's wrong with night? Night Newcast? Hmm? I think most probable. Most probable because, no, no, most probably here is also again the, uh, the, uh, uh -huh. the adverb. So I think likable, the, what, what is the meaning of likable rapport? Likable rapport? I think likely rapport. Have, have we taken a word such as likable before? It's likely. Okay. Signing the, outest, the outset of a business deal, a contract offers the participants a certain degree of legal protection from costly mistakes. Uh, signing should be signed. 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 Why signed? Because the, something happened to the contract. The contract, the contract is signed. The contract does yes. not sign. The contract is signed. If we, if we start with signing, Signing at the outset of a business deal, comma, businessmen, blah, 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 because businessmen sign. Okay? Good. Very good. So it's dangling modifier. Remember what it is? This is a dangling modifier. The story presented at Fisher is a headlong, is a headlong tale told so effectively that its uh, momentum carries the rhythm through the live in notes. Uh, I think the, the lively in notes. Yes, the lively in notes. Adjective. Lively is an adjective, it's not an adverb. Very good. Thank you, Shmans. During the early 19th century, the Spanish mission in Alta, California, to be an integral part of the economy. A. Still other. And, uh, hurdles remain before space suitable for private cars. Fuel cells become? Before fuel cells become suitable, yes. We have here subject and verb, other hurdles, subject, and remain, verb, and then we have before. So after before, we need also a subject and a verb. Fuel cells become, number C. 
Thank you. The daughters of uh, the daughters of Joseph and Sharifmin were born into the generation of Omaha, forced to abandon tribal traditions, comma, on the reservation and to adopt the white man's ways. Too mature. Too mature. Okay, we have parallel structure. Yes. Yes, parallel structure. Thank you very much. To mature uh, and to adapt. Among the most traveling aspects, I'm sorry, um, among the most revealing aspects of mining towns, space, their paucity of public. Where? Among the positive Was? revealing, among the positive revealing aspects, we have here a prepositional phrase. Okay, and when we start with a prepositional phrase that is necessary, what do we do? We do inversion. We invert the structure. Correct. Yes. Verb, 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 then subject. So here, the 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 subject is their posity. This is the subject. So we need a verb. Hmm. Was, was. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Number five factor. And is it is it clear? Any questions so far? Any questions? Any problems? Okay. Fact analysis is used to discover how many abilities are involved. Are? Are involved. 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 Don't say involved. 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 Mm -hmm. One of the early orders of uh, marine mammals, manatees have evolved more than 50 million years ago. Mm. Uh, we have to remove have. Yes, evolved. Because we have a go. When we have a go, we have to use simple past. Dolphins and chimps are like in that they have blah blah blah. Are likely. Are alike. Alike. Similar. Alike any similar. Uh, in the appendix at the end of the chapter are the instructions to be used for the completion correct of the form. Uh, actually, it should be correct completion. Yeah, complete, complete correction, complete correction, which completion correct, complete correction. Okay, use the noun, not the thing. Remember this. And uh, at the end of the chapter, we start here with again with uh, with with a prepositional phrase, and then we have to uh, invert the structures. So instead of the instructions are, it should be are the instructions, which is correct, to be used. Blah blah blah. Clear. Used sound that varies only in time, but in space. Not only in time that varies that varies that varies not only in time, but also in space. Uh, whales at close range. May no, I read it again. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I, I always do this. Yes, but also in space. But okay, also is missing. I'm sorry. I read it right. The 1898 Trans Mississippi International Expedition, Exposition, I'm sorry, has. Number nine again. Number nine, and I'll But in space, it should be, but also in space. Uh, but how about the used? Uh, here, the whales should be using. Whales at the close, or like, sah. Sah, using. Yes, and sah. And then it's a rat. Thank you very much. It should be using because whales used, not used. لا ده احنا هناخد اللابتوب بقى والقلم ونشرح احنا بقى. لا ده فيه ما نقدرش. الله ينور يا باشمهندس. In 1898 Trans Mississippi International Exposition has the distinction of being the last the last major fair which held during the Victorian period. Which was held. Was held. Yes, was. Was. Had. نعم. Had, had. والله هذا هنا فعلاً فعلاً معك حق فعلاً هذا هنا شكلها مريب شوي يعني المفروض هنا in in eighteen ninety eight ااا المفروض هنا هاد يعني I think this sentence has two mistakes which was held because because we because it was it it did not hold itself somebody held it so it was held and we cannot use here has because it's eighteen ninety eight Mississippi International Expedition had the distinction of being the last major fair which was held during blah, blah, blah. I think it has two mistakes. Thank you very much.
<laughs> okay. Um, one mistake I always see, and I talked about it before uh, with with you guys, is uh, is using uh, in English. In English, no singular noun. This is a very important rule. Can occur without an article. Now, from Kilimanjaro, we'll talk today a lot about articles and about uh, nouns. So, no singular noun can occur without an article. So, you can for example, I ate apple. It's either you say I ate an apple or you say I ate the apple, depending on the meaning, of course. And apple is indefinite, you don't know which apple. Uh, but when I say I ate the apple, it means you know which apple we are talking about. There is a certain apple uh, that we know, that we both know, okay? So, in English, um, we, we cannot use uh, um, singular nouns without articles, okay? Uh, either a or n or the. If it's indefinite, we use a or n. If it's definite, we use the. This point is clear so far, correct? Correct? Yes. yes. Okay. Um, we'll also today talk about how to talk about general concepts. Um, Okay, let it let it be when, when it's time when it's time. To. For example, you say a dollar, an apple, or the dollar or the apple when it's definite when we when we both know which dollar or which apple we are talking. And uh, of course, we do not use uh, something very important. With you, we do not use a and n with uncountable nouns. Can we do this? Can we do this? No. Can can you say for example, a money? Can use. And information. And information is a mistake that I always see. And advice. You cannot, you cannot say and advice or and information or and money or and news. All this is wrong. Why? Because a and n, they they both come only with singular nouns. Singular nouns meaning this means it has to be countable and singular. Okay. So. Oh, um, you say you can see the dollars or the, the apples, but you cannot say a dollars or an apples. You cannot say a money or a juice. You can say the money or the juice. That comes with everything. Okay? Here. The first thing we need uh, to, to know is use articles with singular nouns. No singular noun can occur without an article. Okay? Agree? And I always see this mistake in your writings. Because in Arabic, we, again, as we said before, in Arabic, we do not have um, uh, um, uh, uh, meaning morphemes. We only have function morphemes. But in English, so many morphemes only have function, but they do not have meaning. So that's why many Arab speakers tend to ignore the A or N. Okay, but, th but they are very important. Okay, look at these sentences and try to find out the mistake. Take one minute. Okay, let's see together. The manager sent memo to his employees. Amen. 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 There is car, there is a car. The child and his friends are having milk and cookies. What do you think? Correct. Correct. Right. He is studying to be an actress in films. Yes, correct. 
before, uh, generally speaking, before jobs, we have to use articles. My father is a doctor. My friend is an engineer. I am a teacher. She is a banker. Okay. Uh, uh, my neighbor was arrested for throwing rocks through windows. The, the rocks. Um, is, is it a must? Do we have to say the rocks? Rocks is plural. So it, it, it's not necessary to have mm -hmm. an article. Okay? Not necessary. No? You don't have to use an article, so it's correct. We have machinery that prints 10 pages each minute. Uh, we have machinery. A machinery. No, 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 no. Machinery is uncountable. Machinery is uncountable. Check my machinery, machineries. Machinery, machine is countable. A machine. A machine. It's countable. And the plural of a machine is machines. But machinery, machinery, no, this is uncountable. So this sentence is correct. Teacher has many students. Hmm. A teacher. A teacher or the teacher. Yes. Can you heat water for tea? A water. A water? A water. A water? Do we say a water? A water, water is uncountable. No, 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 no. It's uncountable. Yeah, yeah. Water, water is uncountable. Yeah, can you heat some water? Can you heat some water? Or can you heat water? And that's it. Come on. Problems? Any questions? Of course, this problem. Yani, wallahi, Arfin, if I uh, if I now show you any random piece of writing for for any of my students, any of my IELTS students, you will be surprised with the, with the uh, um, amount of the number of mistakes uh, with articles. يعني الناس حتى اللي شغالين معي IELTS هنا أكيد بيهزوا رأسهم دلوقتي وموقتين على كلامي. ما فيش writing بيخلو من articles. You have to be careful when using articles. It's, it's a very common mistake. It seems very simple and very easy, but so many learners make mistakes in this area. Okay? And we all know how to distinguish between A and N. The, the rule of thumb is very easy. It, um, there is a misconception, a misconception that is very popular among people that if the word starts with the letter, the letter A or E or O or U or Michel E, then uh, it's or I, then it's, uh, it's uh, N, okay? But this is a misconception, this is wrong. Because you have a, a word like, for example, yeah, yeah, when we will talk about that, okay, we'll talk, uh, because you have a word like a university, it comes with you, correct? Um, and, and, and it takes N, or uh, something like N hour, it starts with H, and then it takes an S. So what is, what is the rule here? The rule is very easy, much simpler than this. If the word starts with a vowel sound, mind you, vowels are sounds. vowel letter. There is nothing such as a vowel letter. Letters are not divided into vowels and consonants. Sounds are divided into, into uh, vowels and consonants. Sound, any sound, what you hear, okay? What you hear, not what you write. So um, if the word starts with this sound, uh, this sound, uh, then it takes N. That's why we say N, our, uh, 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 our, N, onion, A, U, 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 Y, 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 A, university. This is the sound, Y, yeah, not the sound N. Uh, so it takes A, clear? So it depends on what, again, on the vowel sound, not, not the letter. So uh, A book, is it clear, everyone? A uniform, yes, thank you very much. Okay, uh, a book, a man, a page, an orange, uh, uh, orange, illness, e, illness, automobile, automobile, uh, 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 automobile, a university, a unit, an unhappy man, an understanding, a hospital, a heart, an uh, uh, our, 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 an herb, with a small herb, it's herb, herb, okay, with shampoo, it's more herbal essences, herbal, not herbal. Okay, uh, herbs, you know, مثلا, um, tea is an herb, مش, مش a herb. Maybe there is 
uh, some pronunciation, uh, but not American. Americans say it herb. I, I don't know about British, to be honest. Okay, so look at the questions one to ten and um, and try to see if they're correct. Correct. Click on minute. Okay, uh, it is raining, so you should bring an umbrella. Yeah, I didn't need it. You should drink <laughs> an umbrella. <laughs> he bought a half gallon of milk and a box of a hundred envelopes. I think it's correct. Sorry. It's correct. And don't forget a with hundred or thousand, a hundred, a thousand, a million, and then. The noun that comes afterwards is always, again, it's plural. I, I see two mistakes always in your writing and speaking in your production here. So, so many people forget a, and then they use singular nouns. Now we have to use a with, with hundred, with thousand, with million, with billion, whatever. And then we use a plural noun. An objection was raised because it was such a unacceptable idea. And, and and this word is pronounced as idea, not idea. I know that so many people. Idea. Yeah, so many people say idea. It's idea. The stress on the second vowel. The stress is on the second vowel, not the first vowel. Idea. The workers at the plant do not belong to a union. union. Correct. Correct. I'm sorry. Somebody said something else. Somebody like to share something. A union. And do you say it union or union? You say it here, yeah, 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 union or uh, uh, onion? Union, yeah, yeah. So it's a. Uh. We said we only use n when it starts with a vowel. Uh. The police officer was okay, not okay. wearing the was not wearing n uniform. Hmm. Uh, when she when she arrested the subject. Yeah. If you do not give me a hand. Finishing the project on time will be an impossibility. Uh, yeah, which is correct. She was upset when an honest mistake was made. An honest. An honest mistake. An honest. Uh, 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 honest, not honest. She opened an account. Uh, an account. Okay. An account. Okay. Thank you very much. At a local department store. Okay. Uh, of course, we have to make articles agree with nouns. Well, uh, so we don't use a and n with plural nouns. Okay. We only use a and n with singular nouns. Okay. Do not use them with plural nouns. Look at this activity. Uh, take one minute.
okay? It is necessary to have a farm or land of your own. Incorrect, should be for a farm and a land. Or a land, yes. You must contact a members of the club. Remove a members Without of the club. Was that yes, members of the club or a member of the club. You will need a pen or pencil. A pencil. Correct. Hmm. Yeah. For bringing so and that. items. Yeah. Correct. Okay. Uh, okay. Yes, correct. You must, uh, oh, and, and uh, there is something interesting. I don't know if I said before about a number of and a number of. Uh, I'm sure I've said it to some other people. Uh, a number of, a number of is always followed by plural noun. But the number of is always followed by a singular. I'm sorry, verb. Verb, I'm sorry, verb, not noun. Singular verb. What does it mean? So, of course, verb verbs are not plural and singular, but, the, but it is dealt with as plural, and this is dealt with as singular. So, for example, we say a number of students is or are unhappy. Are unhappy. Why? Because a number of is dealt with as, uh, as a plural noun. But the number of students huh, is increasing or well, are increasing is, is increasing is increasing why because the number of is always dealt with as a singular noun so after a number of use uh, uh, deal with a number of as plural and deal with the number of as singular okay clear you must write a report on a subject of your choice What do you think? Uh, incorrect. Um, remove a before subjects. What's it? Yeah. Right, you should write a report on a ah, subjects. Okay. Subjects, yes. Okay. Or, or a subject. A subject, your choice. Okay. They crossed throughout or through several forests and a stream. I think uh, a stream without a. They crossed through, through several forests, correct? And a stream, a stream means like a small river. Yeah, correct. There will be another important lessons tomorrow. Lesson, because another. Use another. We use another with singular nouns. We use other with plural nouns. This is very important. Yes, I see so many mistakes here. Another, you can say, for example, another student, another book, another chapter. Okay. Another with what? Singular noun. But other with plural. Other, for example, other uh, people, other, uh, um, other programs, other what? Other students. Other men, but another man. You understand? You got it? So here, another lessons. Can we say another lessons? No, another lesson. Another lesson or other? Huh? Lessons. lessons. Yeah. Here? Yes, clear. He could not give me a good reasons for what he did. Good uh, reasons. Reason. Yeah, good reason. Or good reasons without a. Very good. This will be the last. This will be the last thing we do today. Distinguish specific and general ideas. Distinguish specific and general ideas. Uh, general concepts. We are talking about general concepts. Concept. Okay. This noun is either countable or uncountable. Countable nouns, animal plural, without the, without the. Uncountable noun, 
for uncountable nouns, but we will not use the and we use the noun as is. يعني إيه؟ يعني نمكن مع general concept مفهوم عام. Okay, like for example, when I say life is hard. I'm sorry, life is hard. The uncountable. When I say life is hard. Okay, I don't say their life is hard. We don't say their life is hard. We say life is hard. Okay, death is a must. We don't say their death is a must. Death is a must. Death, generally speaking, the general concept of death is a must. Life, the general concept of life, the general idea of life is that it's hard. Okay, when I say, for example, uh, 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 for example, money begets money. This is a proverb. Okay, we don't say the money begets the money. Is it clear? Because in Arabic, in Arabic, we use the, we say al haya, al mut, il flus, al musharif hub, al. Okay, so we, we, we tend to make this mistake. We add the, but this is wrong. Do not add that. Do not add that with uncountable nouns when it, when it is what a general concept. Clear? If the noun is countable, we use the plural also without that. Like for example, apples are healthy. Apples, generally speaking, apples are healthy. Uh, when we say, for example, uh, uh, Generally speaking, uh, young people, shabab, are active. Okay, so we use the plural noun also without a, without the. This is when we talk about what? The general or the specific? General. General. But when we talk about something, something, something specific, we use the. خلاص بدل all life is hard. Well, the life. Of, of, say for example, uh, uh, my father was hard. So we are talking about something very specific here. Very specific, the life of my father. When you say death is a must, the death of Fulani Fulani was said, the death of Jack. So you're talking here about something specific, not about death in general. You're talking about the death of Jack. Money begets money. The money in the bank does blah, blah, blah. Okay, so you're talking about something specific, the money specifically in the bank, okay? Apples are healthy. You're talking about something general, but if you would like to make it specific, the apples in the fridge are healthy. Young people are active. This is general, but we're talking about something specific. Their young people in Egypt are active, and so on and so forth. Is it clear? So the rule of thumb with general concepts, we do not use the, whether it's countable or uncountable. We do not use the, whether it's countable or uncountable. I always see this mistake. I always see it in your writing and speaking. Don't use the with general concepts. If it's countable, we use the plural. The plural, if it's uncountable, we use, uh, we use it as, it is clear. I'm sorry, again? I need to ask a question. Sure, sure, go ahead. Uh, the previous example, uh, the death of Jack was said. Yes. Who was said? Said, the, the event was said. The event, the death of Jack is said. Well, can we say this? This object was said? Yes, something said. If, if we describe an event or an action to be said, it means it makes you said in English. Yes. You say it was a sad event. It was a sad year. It was a sad, I don't know, uh, coincidence. It means, it means in here, muhzina, mish hazina. Yes, it's correct English. Okay, thank you. Most welcome. Any more questions? Okay, uh, the, Tom will bring their book tomorrow. It will arrive on their first Tuesday. Oh, I don't know what. There will be only the first Tuesday in July. 
he sailed on the Pacific Ocean. طبعا, with oceans and rivers, we use the, like the Nile, the Pacific, the Amazon. Okay. Tom will bring a book. Tom will bring on any one book. Okay. More or less, I think we, we have what, we know what you mean. And of course, we understand also the concept of, uh, of definite versus indefinite. The def if we are talking about something definite, we both know what it is, then we use the. Did, did you take the car? Did you drive the car? It means we know which car we are talking about. But when I say, for example, did you drive a car, any car in your life, any car? Okay. Okay, so let's take one minute and look at these questions and, and try to uh, think of the correct or incorrect. Okay. Okay. Um, the ball hit a child on a head. <laughs> this is very funny. On any head that this child, that this child has, hit a child on a head means like he has three, four heads. Can we say this? Not the head. No. On, on the head. The head. On the head. Yes. Because he has one head. Correct. He had a best grade. He had a uh, best. The best grade. The people who came here yesterday were here again today. Correct. Correct. She was a most beautiful girl. The, the, most. Most. the most. The trip that I took last year to Bahamas was to the Bahamas was the only vacation I had all year. I think correct. correct. I need a piece of paper so that I can finish the report that I'm working on. Correct. Correct. A basketball player threw the ball to a center of the court. A center of the court. Like how many yeah, centers? The center. The center. Because it only has one center, correct? Yeah. The sixth grade class went on a field trip to visit a Lincoln Memorial. Uh, uh, the link, uh, because it's only one memorial. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think this will be the last activity we do today. Uh, and then we finish. Uh, take one minute.
Okay, let's do it together. He took our money from his wallet. He took the money. The money or money. He took money from his wallet to pay for the sweater or the money. Depends on the meaning you want to say. The notebook that he left had an important assignment in it. Hello. Yes. Correct, correct. Because of the previous disagreements, of, because of previous disagreements, they are trying to arrive at an understanding. The appearance of the uh, of room could be improved by adding a green plants. You said that the room. The appearance of the room. The room could be improved by adding green plants, not a green plants. So that, uh, yeah. And mind you, the word room, the word room can be countable and it can be uncountable. Room is countable when it's uh, when it's you know a room in the house. Okay, like this example. In this example, it's a room in the house. But also the word room can be used to mean space. Like for example, I need some room. I need some room. It means like I need some space. Can we add some room? Can we add some space to the reception? Accountable. Room can be countable, meaning a room in the house, or it can be uncountable to mean space. And in this, in this uh, very example, in this specific example, it is, of course, countable. The Senate passed law. Passed. Hello. A law. It's open O. Law. Hello. Law. 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 Low, this is low. Oh, it has a completely different meaning, the opposite of high. This is low. Oh, oh. Okay. Right. Uh, each chemistry student should bring laboratory manual to our next class. Laboratory. Should bring a laboratory manual because manual here is a singular noun to a next class or to the next class. So the next class. The next class. She admitted. Uh, doctor, about the manual, this is something uh, is known for all of us. Something defined. So we have to say that bring the laboratory manual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, it's correct in meaning. Also, yes, yes. It depends on the meaning. A laboratory manual, maybe, maybe there are many manuals. Maybe it's only one manual. So the laboratory manual, okay. If it's, if it, if it's only one laboratory manual. Ms. Shema, you raise your hand. Any questions? Shema. Say me one last time. You raised your hand. Okay. Um, she admitted that she made mistake. That she made mistake. A mistake, a mistake. But said that she had made a honest effort. An honest. An honest effort. Thank you very much. His absence from the board meeting was a strong. Um, was a strong indication. Was a strong. Strong. Without a. Yeah. No. I, I, only one indication. A strong indication, because the absence is one indication of his desire to uh, leave the company. So I think correct. The rest. The rest of the sentence is correct. The car needed gas, so the driver stopped at a service station. Uh, at the service the station. At a service station is correct, or at the service station is also correct. It depends on the meaning, but this is not the correct. Hmm? Yes. The car need a guard. The guard. The guard. The car. The car needed gas. Yes. Okay. Number ten. Anyone taking group tour? Hmm. Uh, taking a group, uh, uh, a group tour uh, to the Hawaiian Islands must pay fee before a first of the month. Must pay the fee. Uh, okay, you can must pay the fee or the fees. Fee is, un, is is countable. Okay, so it's either it's either the fees or a fee, a fee or the fees. 
Okay, it's countable before a first of the month. Before a first of the month. Uh, before the first of the month. The first of the month. Okay. Any questions? Anyone having no, any questions? Uh, okay, uh, that's it for today. You have this as homework. Okay, and of course you have the following exercise as homework also. Okay, and um, I will try to finish the course. I don't know. I will try to finish it tomorrow. I don't think I will be able to, but uh, let's try to finish it tomorrow. Maybe time will not be enough, but no problem. If it's not tomorrow, it will be after tomorrow, and then we will have a test, the final test. Remember, we said we would have a final test by the end of the course. So uh, I, I advise I advise you guys to start studying from now. Get back to the videos. Get get back to the book. If you have any questions or so or, or anything, you can get back to me with with your questions. Uh, we can we can make one session only for questions before the test if you if you wish to. Um, so uh, my my uh, my advice is you you start studying uh, immediately. Okay, uh, that's it. See you tomorrow, inshallah, same time. Uh, stay home, stay safe. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.